Hi, my name is Amalia Nabinti Wong Maiz Nizudi with the idea of 2001473 and I'm currently taking foundation in computer science. Today, we're going to present to you about our product named as CardMe. So basically, CardMe is an advanced version of a world shopping cart. But before I go deeper, I have a simple question. What is actually a shopping cart? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, a shopping cart is a wheel cart supplied by stores to ease consumers prior to heading to sketches or checkout counters. So basically, it helps consumers to move their merchandises before they pay for them. Okay, so now I have three simple tasks that I'm going to do today. First, I'm going to explain about the datum. Secondly, I'm going to tell you about the decomposition chart. And thirdly, I'm going to present to you about the morphology chart. But before that, what's the difference? between decomposition chart and a morphology chart so the difference between these two is that decomposition chart is based on the original datum uh, the original product which is the datum itself while the morphology chart is based on our new innovation okay first thing first i'm going to explain to you about the datum so a shopping cart we have two types of shopping cart whether it's a metal one or it's a plastic one so for the metal one it usually weigh around 70 pound while the plastic one it usually uh, weigh 15 to 20 pound lesser than the plastic one as for the wheels sometimes we have a shopping cart with four swivel wheels and sometimes we have the shopping cart with two swivel wheels in front while two fixed wheels at the back and as for the handle Consumers use the handle to push and pull the shopping cart so that they can move their merchandise easier and things like that. And as for the compartment, shopping carts have compartment in front of the handle and sometimes people put more merchandises in the compartment or they put babies inside so it depends on how they want to utilize the compartment now let's talk about the morphology chart in morphology chart we have eight key features that we want to add to cart me which is the frame type frame shape high adjuster power source handle compartment movement mechanism and user interaction all right that's all for the datum decomposition and morphology chart Hello, my name is Nuna Jabiti Zaharuddin and I am currently taking foundation in computer science. I will be presenting about the concepts with its respective sketches. For every feature stated previously, we have matched it into three different concepts. For concept number one, firstly, it has a rectangular shaped frame that is made by stainless steel. Next, it uses a spring concept in adjusting its height as it uses less electricity to power the trolley, hence it suits to be powered by solar energy. As for its solar panel, it is located at the handle. Speaking about handle, this trolley has an edge handle. It uses superconductor as its movement mechanism, which technically means that it actually floats. As for its user interaction, it uses Bluetooth to connect to the mall app which comprises a GPS to different sections of the mall and a product scanner. Concept number two. This trolley is made up of plastic which has an aerodynamic shape frame. Size in adjusting its height, it utilizes a sliding concept which can be manually controlled. As it utilizes quite large amount of power, it uses dock charging as its power source which means that the trolley has to be recharged at the end of the day. The handle for this concept is finger-based, which actually provides a nice grip to the user. The compartment built into this trolley is a freezer compartment where people can put their freezer goods. In order to interact with the user, it has a 15-inch touchscreen, which consists of a GPS and a scanner as well, located at its handle. Besides, the movement mechanism for this trolley is 5-inch classic wheels, which can be found in typical trolleys in the market. Concept number 3. As for this shopping cart, it is made up of rubber, which has an oval-shaped or curved-shaped frame. To power this trolley, it uses a battery, which should be replaced from time to time. As for its handle, it has a curved shaped handle. This trolley also uses a conveyor belt wheel as its movement mechanism, just like how you see in tanks. Last but not least, as for its user interaction, it uses a remote controller with GPS to control the trolley. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi guys, 
you have seen the sketches of our concepts, right? And now I am going to evaluate those three concepts with the pure evaluation matrix. This method allows us as innovators to filter the positive and negative of the concept by comparing to the datum, which is a regular trolley. As you can see here, this is a column for concept one, and this for concept two, and this for concept three. And here, here we have uh, our criteria that we use to compare our between the datum and cons our concepts. I will explain one by one. For concept one, here we can count the negative uh, the plus, minus, and s, which symbolize the same aspect as the datum. Sum of plus, uh, here we have 3, uh, sum of minus is 4, and s is 3. For concept 2, here we have 5 plus 3 minus and 2 s. Uh, here, concept 3, we have 4 plus 5 minus and 1 s. Okay, how to select uh, from this evaluation? First, we have to look at some plus, which concept is higher in this matter. Seems like concept 2 is the highest between uh, those three, having 5 plus, 1 point for concept 2. Okay, then look at the sum of uh, minus, and our concept 3 has the highest in this category, which means uh, I will give minus 1 point for it. And here, concept 1, we have 4. So it's just average. And here C2, we have the lowest, that is 3 minus. So we give it 1 point. Uh, one point. And thus, concept 2 has uh, two winning points from the sum of uh, plus and minus. As a result, the concept 2 is the best choice. Not to forget, this S, this S, uh, same is observed only when there is tie in the sum of uh, plus and minus. Choose the lowest S and that is the best choice. Thank you. So for the final sketch of the chosen concept, which is the concept number two, the reason it is chosen is because not only it has the lightest weight, but it's also easy to manufacture. It is estimated to be sold at roughly around 5,000 ringgit, which include a trolley and a charging dock. To add on, it is reliable since it will include a mini screen with GPS, calculator and a list of items at the shopping mall. With a scanner will be provided too which enable the customers to scan their items and pay via online banking or later at the counter. Summarizing the statement, the customer will no longer need to wait in a long line. Not to mention, it is user-friendly since it uses the touch screen mechanism which is very popular among people. With only one tap, it can discover the whole mall. This ultimate product can be adjusted in terms of its height so that customers can push the trolley according to their perspective and pleasure by pressing the button on the control system. Moreover, it has an aerodynamic cover for the trolley frame which acts to lower the air resistance allowing the customer to push the trolley with less force. Next, it has the same longevity and ease of transportation like normal trolley we can uh, we can found in a normal in a shopping mall. On the negative side, it is not cost effective and the maintenance is not easy. It might take RM one thousand to two thousand ringgit to repair the broken part, especially the especially the robotic system, which is for the height adjuster and GPS system. As the picture depicts, there is a mini freezer in the trolley frame, which. The electrical appliance can assist the customers for storing wet groceries or quick milk goods such as raw chicken, ice cream, ice cube, fish, and even a drinking a drinking water. If if the customer wants to maintain its refreshing taste, the, the customer can use the freezer that that has been put on the trolley. The GPS system and the freezer are powered by a massive keyboard power bank, which can hold approximately. 120,600 mA per hour, extending its operation duration. Not to forget, these two have been designed to be eco-friendly features to reduce power consumption and electric and electric bill at once. Furthermore, the handle will be crafted to have places for fingers to grab, bringing comfort to the customer's hand. For the last feature, the wheels are almost the same as the regular one, but this will be improved in the matter of steering stability and durability to smoothen the customer's shopping experience.